they get away with this and it's difficult sometimes you guys are in the mouth you think everything's going great you're in a high mount maybe you're going to attack an arm bar or do something and the guy pushes you up bump him and push him above your head and then his legs start coming in go the legs start coming in and then gino starts going what's going on he's trying to free it and can you push him push him push him push him over 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 and then now boom he's popping out go grab a leg lock go ahead you want to tighten this thing up he's got a little half boston crab i would definitely take my right hand let's go ahead and get a nice key lock right here head up leaning back but yeah right there okay sometimes you can make it an ankle lock sometimes you can make it like a quad stretch or but yeah pull but even even just keep the ankle with one hand and lean back like that lean back you feel that you start to feel your butt pushing his his butt nice so figuring that out okay <laughs> all right guys teach me grappling Brian Peterson I'm back I've got Gino and Jacob right now they're gonna help me tonight um guys I just got a uh, a comment actually just a moment ago I was like you know what I gotta do a video for the day and I got this idea from one of the commenters I think it was like I just came here to leave a comment on YouTube or something like that whatever your name is so maybe it's George, I don't know, whatever your name is. It can't be actually, you just want to leave a comment on YouTube. No, no parent would name their children that. So the question is, I'm having trouble with smaller guys when I mount them. They stick their feet in my armpits and they escape. So here guys, look, um, go ahead, lay on your back. Gino, take them out. And again, this could happen like a lot of different ways. Um, I guess not a lot, but I'm just gonna give you something simple. Let's say he's upright like this. You know, you keep your elbows in, good discipline. Let's say Jacob does a nice little bump and he makes you put your hands. Sometimes he'll put his hands up under your armpits and then just give him a nice shove above like you're picking up a baby over your head, a big baby named Gino, and then Go ahead and just backward roll your legs and bring them inside. Now, he can push on the armpits here. I believe that's what was referenced in the uh, comment. Some people will actually lock their legs. Um, can you lock? Yeah. So, Jacob Z, can you posture just slightly so the camera can see all this? You guys see that? So, he ends up with this weird guard, right? But he's mounted, but he's wrapped his legs around like he has the guard in reverse. So... You know, he's basically got donkey while Gino's mounted. Now, in the old days, I've never forgotten this. Um, I may miss some of the, uh, the verbiage, but in the Gracie in Action tapes, I believe it was Hoist Gracie and Jason Zulusha was, they were having a little sparring match before their UFC fight. And Jason Zulusha was the one that didn't know really much jujitsu, and he was trying to do this. And all Hoist did was just like, get this leg out of here, just go ahead. Get this thing, get that thing out of here. Let me slap you in the face a few times, you know. And Horian and Gracie on the narration was talking about how this shows that the bottom man doesn't know how to skate them out. You know, he doesn't know a hip escape. He doesn't know how to prevent somebody into the high mount. Um, he doesn't know how to trap, bridge, and roll. So, you know, it's, it's looked down on. So. As a young person growing up in the 90s, learning jujitsu, for me, I viewed this technique as really dumb. Horian said it was stupid, it's dumb, it's stupid. Now, here's the deal. There are flexible dudes out there, they get away with this, and it's difficult sometimes. You guys are in the mouth, you think everything's going great, you're in a high mouth, maybe you're gonna attack an arm bar or do something, and the guy pushes you up, bump him and push him above your head. And then his legs start coming in. Go! The legs start coming in and then Gino starts going, what's going on? He's trying to free it. And can you push him, push him, push him, push him. Over, over, over. And then now boom, he's popping out. Go grab a leg lock. Boom, you gotta put it in your armpit. Yeah. 
Good. Remember, slide the knee over. Come around here, jump. Okay. Okay. Then, again, these guys are young and just starting out. Go ahead. You want to tighten this thing up. He's got a little half Boston Crab. I would definitely take my right hand. Let's go ahead and get a nice key lock right here. Head up. Leaning back. Yeah, right there. Okay. Sometimes you can make it an ankle lock. Sometimes you can make it like a quad stretch or, but yeah, pull. But even, even just keep the ankle with one hand and lean back like that. Lean back. You feel that? You start to feel your butt push into his, his yeah. butt. Nice. So this is real fancy and all. It doesn't happen often. But this is like a follow-up that is sometimes shown. Like you go to a leg lock right out of there, which is possible. So let's go ahead and let it go. So one of the most simplest things you guys can do, you want to avoid this, go ahead, go to the mount again, Chino. Okay. First of all, don't let him put his feet in there. <laughs> but sometimes we get caught. So you don't know maybe that this guy's got this move and he's really flexible. The Gumby guys out there can do this. Go ahead, bump them and throw them up. Come on. Yeah, push them up, up, up. The legs start to get hooked. The second Gino feels this, we're out here, John. All Gino does is Gino locks. Lock those ankles strong, okay? Yeah, you figure out which one you like. Is that the one you like? Yeah. All right, okay? Wide knees, super wide knees. Cross your ankles tight. Hips down strong, okay? Just stay like that. Now let's go ahead, take a look at Jacob. How's his face looking? You got, you doing okay, Jacob? You all right? Not really. Okay, not really. So now, can you cross your legs, Jacob? So, there's some guys that are real flexible, they won't be bothered too much. Now, one at a time, mm -hmm. open up his legs and get your elbows, your arms back through there. And now get yourself back down into a low mount, crossed ankles. Crossed ankles, low mount. Mm -hmm. Now, when he tries to hook his feet in now, you know what he's gonna try to do. No, no, I'm talking about over here, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Like, try to get your, yeah, push him up and try to get your legs around. Nice. Keep trying. Now watch this. Oh, they're almost coming in front. Stay locked. Good. Now, Jacob, Jacob, you're going to get it. You know why? Because he's going to get bold and he's going to start crawling into the high mount. Let's say, he, again, you're thinking about, I don't know, maybe you're going to crawl up an arm bar. Oh, so okay. start bringing your knees up. Unlock your legs and bring your knees up. Now go, Jacob. What are you going to do? Gino, lock your legs. Smash them. Try to pop out of there, Jacob. If you can backward roll, Jacob, you can get out. Do not allow him to backward roll, Gino. Keep your pressure down. Push back. Good hips, wide knees. Hips down. Get inside of those legs. Push yep. those legs aside. Get your arms inside the legs. There you go. There you go. John, you gotta move around. Nice. Keep in the mouth. Don't let him use that kind of tactic. Okay? Now, for you guys out there that are watching, and you're really good at doing this type of counter by sticking your legs around, you're real gumby. You might have something you know, that you do that makes it work for you, and that's okay. I'm not, not frowning on you guys. I'm not trying to crap on your technique. But what I'm trying to give is for the people out there that have had people bring their feet in front of their chest, um, we wanna make sure that you guys don't just like fall over. I mean, I didn't even show that. Give them out one more time. I mean, sometimes it looks like this, guys. Okay, we gotta play to John, because John's tired. He postures in the high mount. Posture in the high mount. No, no, guys, stop fighting. High mount, posture. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, go up, please. Like that? Yeah. No, no, go up, oh, up, like there that. you go. Now go ahead, throw your legs over. Now sometimes, it literally knocks you backward. Don't hurt your knees, okay? He pops you back, good. And that happens. Now you can go to a leg lock, you know, possibly, okay? We'll get into the, the specifics there. So I didn't even show that not only do you backward roll into a leg lock, sometimes you just knock the guy backward. The guy was in the high mount. It happens in MMA fights, guys, at low levels. When these guys are just starting their MMA careers, amateur level, they get to the high mount, they start throwing punches, and the guy from the bottom swings his legs up locks, 
and this guy falls off the mount. So remember, drop down, cross your ankles. Keep the hip pressure, wide knees. Pull your ankles to your butt, okay? Let me do this real quick. Okay. So you, you're gonna go ahead and pop me up. Boom. Boom. I lock right away. I'm already locked. Go ahead and pull your feet up. Good. I'm, I'm squeezing in right here. Try to move. See how I'm using my legs? I'm pulling you into me. Now look. Swim inside. Swim inside. Keep down. Go ahead. Try to put him back in. I'm going to start getting down low. I know who this guy is now. This guy's a Gumby. He's a flexible dude. If I'm concerned, I won't do it again. I'll work all my techniques from the low mount position, walk him up, get the arm triangle, and finish that baby. You know, instead of trying to get up into the high mount because you were look, thinking about arm bars, okay? Or in the MMA fight, if you're striking and the guy's flexible and he throws those legs up, boom, boom, bam. Let's unhook my toe right here. Okay, go, try to move him. Oh my gosh, lean forward, cross my ankles, wide knees. Pull my heels into my butt. That way he can't move me. Boom, let's break these legs apart, open everything up, and get back to business. Maybe then you go right back to striking every time he does it. So guys, look, it's a very simple move. It's not difficult to learn. You guys should know how to deal with this, especially if you have that flexible guy out there that's Gumby, throwing his feet in, hooking him in your armpits, pushing you off, crossing his ankles, causing you problems. Thank you guys so much. Hit like, subscribe. See you guys tomorrow with new stuff. Click that link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Keep supporting this channel and I'll support you later. Thank you.